Hi, my name is Brenton Schellenbach. I'm a yoga teacher in Chicago. Um, today I'm making this video so we can talk about Warrior 2, which is one of my favorite poses and also sometimes one of my least favorite poses. For me, it really depends on how we get into the pose and how I engage from the ground up uh, every time I get there. I've gotten into Warrior 2 probably 150 different ways, and I'll show you some of them. And maybe after you see them, you can already see what I'm talking about when I say, Sometimes I hate this pose. Ah, oh, the classic right foot forward, windmill up, warrior two. Anjane Asana, high lunge. Here we go, take it open, warrior two. Balance, half moon, back foot down. Woo! Falling over, warrior two. So a lot of that is really painful. A lot of that is really painful in my feet, in my ankles, in my hips, oh, in my hips, oh my gosh, in my low back, all the way up, like there's torquey stuff sometimes going on in the sideways because you're just like not stacking things, squaring things, whatever. I'm going to go over how Warrior 2 helps me feel awesome when I get into it this way. So it doesn't really matter how we first get into uh, what we're about to get into, but I like to work my way from a downward facing dog, taking your one leg up, we'll start with the right leg, knee in, find your space so you can actually lightly step right foot forward between the hands. If not, that's cool. Pick your right foot forward with your right hand, that's why we have that right hand. And then windmill yourself to the left for Prasarita Padasanasana. So Prasarita Padasanasana forward fold already equalize the weight between left and right in both feet and front and back between the balls and the heels. So let's get a good awareness of the feet going on here. Make sure that all ten of the toes can lift up. So as we lift them up, the, the uh, inner arch of the foot lifts away from the earth. I should be able to stick like a stack of pennies underneath here, my strong inner arches. And that's really going to help stabilize my inner ankle to the height of my outer ankle. So here are my Prasarita Padasanasana, just tilting the sitting bones straight up to the sky and just making sure that my rib cage is nice and soft and relaxed. So what is usually helpful for me here, once I'm in this shape, taking some fan lunges side to side so I can really dissolve tension through my upper body. And as I go side to side here, I'm opening through the meridian of, of the inside of my legs through my inner knee, my inner thigh, my inner groin, and all the way up into my pelvis. And then I like to sit nice and low, both feet equalize the weight again. So now I'm almost in a standing happy baby. This is what this is, like a standing happy baby right here. I'm really stretched from the underside of my knee to the underside of my hip. So opening that area, filling up on a nice big inhale, and then exhale from the navel center, draw in and up, horse pose. So here we are, take the heels in, toes out, just as much as is comfortable, you'll already start feeling this in this hip girdle. And you'll notice that this extension of the right leg out of the pelvis, this is already warrior two in this right leg. So I'm gonna sit nice and low here, connect with my pelvis, make sure I'm still connecting with my feet, all 10 of my toes can lift, so my ankle joint is nice and secure, up through the inner knee, into the pelvis. I'm just gonna take my palm press at the heart, make sure that I'm breathing, I can soft focus with my eyes, and my face is nice and soft. So, to stay connected with both legs, that's the sticky part of this warrior too. Oftentimes, we just take all the weight into our front foot. We completely forget that we have a back foot back here. So I wanna keep my weight equal between both feet. How do I do that? My knees are gonna be the last to transition. I'm gonna stay nice and low, bent. This way, my pelvis, sexy hip bones, still pointing this way towards you, towards the camera. That's not gonna change. I'm just gonna learn how to externally rotate this front leg out of the hip. That's all warrior two is. I don't wanna jack up my pelvis in any way, twist it in any way like this. This is awful. This feels crappy in my pelvis. It feels crappy right here, back here, my back spine. I just wanna stay secure, pull up my root energy so that I use my inner ankles, inner knees, and inner thighs. So I'm gonna turn my left toes towards the left plane of the mat or towards the camera. Check back in with my pelvis, make sure my weight is equal in both feet, turn my right toes forward. I'm still low in both knees. This is sort of like that house pose in fencing. It's super stable and grounded here. And we can work here too. That's cool. Now this back leg, I want to engage it to straight. I don't just want to sink into it right here. 
So I'm going to take my time, pressing evenly into both feet. I'm going to play the edge of that back leg to straight over time, over time, over time. Here I am. I feel so steady, so secure through my inner groin line up into my pelvis. And now I'm going to continue rocking my front pelvis in. I don't have that much work to do here because I've stayed connected this whole time. Lift the ribs up. Knit them in like fingers knitting in, especially under the bust line. Then take your strong arms out to parallel, soften into the shoulders. We'll lift through the skull, take the chin over that right middle finger. So, as we get into it this way, people might notice that your right knee doesn't want to open up as much over the ankle. That's cool. You open it up to your capacity, and then you can simply just transition your right second toe in line with your knee. And this is just a very gradual way of opening this up. Because this shape right here is essentially the same as this shape right here. This is a huge rotation of that right leg out of the pelvic girdle. We want to make sure that we set that up from the feet up through the joints of the legs into the pelvis so that the pelvis is buoyant, protected, and is able to actually open up in a way that's constructive for us instead of this thing. Here I go, all the way up here. My pelvis is in all sorts of directions. It's tilting forward. I got my hip bones pointing in multiple directions, so I'm not really getting that external rotation like I think I am. I'm disconnected from my back leg here. I'm disconnected from my spine, and I just don't feel as strong and secure. So try it out. Try different ways of working with your body. Different ways of working with your body. And work in ways that feel good. This is how I teach it in all of my classes, and I think this way makes me feel stronger, makes me feel more open. And if that's not what this does for you, then by all means, do something else with your body. Because ultimately, that's, I think, why we come to our mat, to feel good in this precise moment, not work through a whole bunch of things that feel awful so that we can feel good later. Because now is all we have.